the gentleman who has brought artists like George Winston and Michael Hedges, uh, Liz Story, I can't name them all right now, to the public, the founder of Wyndham Hill Records. Uh, it's rumored that he's going to start tonight with a cover from REO Speedwagon, but you have to check that with him. Please, could we have a big warm welcome? We'll start off tonight with Will Ackerman. I'm not bright, uh, never was. Uh, I always am envious of people who have intelligent things to say and I just was faced with another intelligent thing that someone else said recently. It, someone asked Gore Vidal what the sex of his first lover was and he said he was too polite to ask. And I. You know, it's the kind of shit that Burt Reynolds says. I don't know. I can. I. You know, a week later, I'm thinking I should have said. But. You know. Okay. Let's see. Well, this is a new one which is sort of designed to be a sequel to a piece on my last album called Visiting. It'll be a trio, I think, with uh, Chuck Greenberg, who usually stands over here, and Michael Manring, who usually stands over there. Uh, so you can just kind of fill in the parts. He, he plays low and he plays high. So.
Thank you. That thing's going to be called conferring with the moon eventually, I think. Thank you. 
After this song, uh, I have a door prize that I'm, I'm going to give out, so. Just because I don't do an act out of a bathtub, you think I'm a lightweight. Yes. Okay. This is it. Door prize time. <laughs> Who here, Dan Fort and Susie, not, I mean, they don't count. And if Tom Wheeler's here, he doesn't count either. But who is the first person who can tell me who wrote Summertime Blues? Y you're kidding. Hey, Eddie Cochran, all right. What, well, th this is a little phony, but come on, Max. <laughs> Max, I mean, it says right on the goddamn entry form, you know, you can't. Uh, all right, this is Action's Amazing Fish Lure. Swims and... D 
swims and dives by its own power, contents, two amazing fish lures, 50 fuel pellets, instructions, secrets of catching the big ones, the lunkers inside. Now you can catch more fish and bigger fish with the amazing fish lure. The self-propelled lure swims, dives, flops like a crippled minnow. On the box it says, as seen on TV. <laughs> We're not surprised, are we? microphone before at home I sort of sit back and be like not the same television's not going where do you think I get those amazing offers I mean <laughs> Anybody said blue cheer, I was going to make sure that their underpants were stuffed with popcorn and they had to live with that for a week. So.
Michael lives here. I'm just a guest. We thank you all very sincerely for coming out tonight and for helping Robbie Basho. Robbie is a man who unquestionably has influenced my style more than anyone else, and it's a very sad thing for us to see uh, him having such a hard time. This is going to help him out tremendously. Uh, he's in need of surgery, and, and this steel string guitar tradition of which Degrassi and, and Michael and I are a part really wouldn't have been, I think, without the contributions of, of Robbie and Faye and Kotke and Lang especially. Uh, but at any rate, without running into the ground, we're all tremendously grateful to you, and Robbie is as well, so thank you. We're going to do the last song I know without going into my Herman's Hermits collection. Uh, uh, I like you. Five bucks to this woman. It's a thing I recorded originally with uh, George Winston, and it's called Hawk Circle.
Michael Hedges. Will Ackerman. Boss Chorus CE2. Um, I would like to introduce the next fellow who I am proud to say is a cousin of mine. He's not so proud of the fact. I, I am proud of the fact. Uh, <laughs> please welcome Alex DeGrasse. Cousins? Ooh, I don't know that. Sure got a lot of wires on stage for no acoustic music. Well, I'm just going to noodle around here and eventually get into a tune that's called Street Waltz.
Thank you.
Midwestern winter. Jeez. That sounds complicated. Well, this is close. It has one of those words in it. This is called Western. Is that okay?
Well, as you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of music has been written about the seasons, and uh, it's a great subject. Uh, the Beach Boys wrote about summer mostly, and uh, there was a guy back in the 50s named Vivaldi who wrote something called Four Seasons, which is still pretty popular today. <coughs> trouble is you run out of material pretty quickly and uh, so I've decided to focus in on smaller units of time and uh, this next piece is for about 4 p.m. <coughs> on a Tuesday and uh, for me it sort of represents that, that kind of uh, sleepy feeling that I tend to get about four or five o'clock. <laughs> to me, it's always been the slowest time of the day. And uh, I'm not even a commuter, so I can't even fall asleep in my car listening to commute music. But uh, so I wrote this piece and it originally I called it, I called it Midday Illusion. And then Will told me that sounded potentially sinister. So I of course, anxious to please him, I, uh, <coughs> I, I retitled it, and uh, it's now called Heavy Feet.
Thank you very much. Well, we've got a really big shoe for you tonight. It's going to go on until about four in the morning, I understand. <laughs> I want to uh, thank you for being so patient uh, for waiting to get in tonight. And uh, I'm going to finish up my little set here by uh, asking Daryl Anger and Todd Phillips to join me on a trio piece. So please welcome Daryl Anger and Todd Phillips. a fairly new guitar to me. I haven't played the, uh, this variety much. And uh, when I went to pick this guitar up, this is the, these are the first, these were, these are the, anybody know where the music stand is? I think Will stole it, but I'm not sure, yeah. Anyway, this is, these were the first few notes that I played on the guitar, and I made it into a little jazz waltz. And, uh, <laughs> it's a dual purpose stand. That, <laughs> that's a modern-looking stand yeah. there. Is that Italian? <laughs> it must be. How many lira? Millions, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those things are expensive. Yeah. So this is a tune uh, called The First Time.
Thank you. Thank you, Daryl Langer. Okay. Well, before we break for intermission here, I, we just want to we want to say uh, a brief word. In fact, one word about uh, what this show is for, and that's to uh, kind of help out a friend of ours who's. Uh, having a, a few problems. So we're, we're all uh, going to uh, help uh, convey this word. I'm stalling. Uh, <laughs> guys back there? So uh, what this show about is about is for the next letters, please. <laughs> okay, let's try that again, Daryl. Okay, here we are. This show, this is a benefit for Robbie Basho, so we thought. Thank you. Stick around. We'll take a 10-minute break, and we'll be back with Daryl Anger, Mike Marshall, Todd Phillips, and some Michael Hedges. Well, Egypt.
Thanks. Thanks. That was Egypt. Yeah. By the way, that the band itself, it's me and Barbara, Mike, and Todd, and Andy are all gonna play down here at uh, the same place, this theater, on the 27th of April. So we're looking forward to that. It's a great place to play. Really like it. So. Well. I think this is going to be our, this is our last, last one, right? number. Yeah. I'd like to send it out to Robbie. Hope all is doing yeah. well. And send it out to you, of course, for coming here and supporting such a great cause. We're going to unleash Mr. Hedges on the Michael, doom deck. What is that? <laughs> what is that thing? <laughs> Do you eat it? This is a tune that features the key of D. And, uh, in musician talk, that's like sort of the note that, where it all comes from, where it all ends up in the D note. And uh, in fact, the name of the tune is called Free D. Because we're playing it tonight for free. It's in the All right, Mr. Marshall, Maestro, are you ready?
Todd Phillips, Mike Marshall. Carol Langer. Thank you. Thanks. I just, I just want.